Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, myself Fitness Anand. In this video we are going to see about the isolator electrical diagram and their uh, constructions and the working which means electrical, or electrical operation and also the mechanical operations. So in an isolator uh, mosling box we will have a three set, uh, three combinations which means uh, first is for your motor uh, supply then second one is for your axillaries as like uh, heaters then lamps and uh, socket connections and third one is your main control connections so this all will combine together in a muscling box of your isolator so this is common for your all type of isolators you can refer my before videos uh, in which I have explained the types of isolators. So coming up to the point, first we will see the motor supply. So this is the basics of your uh, connections or uh, electrical circuit in your isolators. So the main thing is that in here we are using DC supply as it as we are using uh, DC motors so some uh, in most of the cases we will use uh, AC motors and AC supply in here we have a switch for controlling S1 then uh, OLR which means your uh, overload relay so normally this OLR will be connected in series with your motor supply so whenever the OLR get tripped or operated due to some uh, malfunctions or thermal overload then automatically our supply will get cut off and from that OLR we, uh, one alarm will be initiated that is your motor got tripped or uh, any motor trip in, uh, initiations alarm will be goes from your OLR relay then yeah, it comprise of a opening coil and a closing coil so whenever the isolator needs to be opened this opening coil will be in a uh, comes in your circuit and whenever needs to close this closing coil will be in active in, uh, in your circuit so uh, this is how the working will be carried out for your uh, motor supply of your isolators so in here uh, whenever the closing and opening need to be done accordingly the circuits will be active Next is your AC supply, AC supply portion, which means your uh, axillary supplies as a uh, heaters, then lamps and socket connections in your uh, marshalling board of your isolator. In here, the 230 or 240 volt AC supply, which is controlled by a switch S3, and then enters into your uh, heaters lamps and uh, socket circuits so in each circuit we have a separate separate uh, switches so hs is for your heater switches uh, then DS, DLS, uh, dls is your for lamps then pss is for your uh, socket circuit so uh, this is controlled by all three switches separate switches then th is your thermostat and uh, it will operate according to the temperature so whenever the temperature get uh, raised or uh, reduced automatically this thermostat will get operated and uh, enables the heater then lamp lamp already knows it's like a normal switches uh, which is used in your uh, home then for your uh, sockets <laughs> So this and all comprises the newer axillary supply package of your isolator. So this all will be placed inside your muscling box or a mechanism box. Then we will see the control supply diagram of your isolator.
these are all the small abbreviations which we are going to use in your control supply diagram just go through it then this is your control supply diagram in here the main thing is that we are using the control supply as a DC supply only mostly probably it will be in a 110 volt DC or a 220 or 230 volt DC supply so uh, first thing is that the positive on the negative terminal TB1 and TB2 will be connected then it is controlled by a CS control switch and then only enters into your circuit so uh, in here the KMC and OLR both are like a key interlocking and a overload relays will be uh, which is connected in your positive terminal seriously so uh, it will uh, it will be like an interlock for your operation so whenever the OLR get operated means you cannot uh, do the operation for your isolator and also if uh, key interlocking system if it is not connected with your uh, mosling kiosk or mosling box means automatically you are not able to operate the isolator then coming up to the uh, pv4 which is your push button 4 uh, this is for your manual operation then coming downside ks and uh, lr in the sense local and remote switch so uh, the isolator if need to be operated locally in that yard itself means we will use a local switch which means we will uh, turn that switch into local mode if uh, the isolator need to be operated remotely which means uh, through a SCADA operation means automatically we need to select a remote mode so first we will uh, go with a local mode as you know for local connections and remote connection the open coil and the closed coil which need to be closed and open during the operations are same but uh, the remote operation in the sense through a SCADA and local operation in the sense manually we are going to give the command to the isolators so in here whenever we are selecting the local means automatically the push button p1 is for your close and the push button p2 pb2 is for your open and uh, if we need to close for example if we need to close the isolator means that push button need to be pushed and then further it moves to your uh, oc coil sorry uh, cc coil so in here the negative will be throughed up to your push button k11 point which means your k11 push button point and that positive will be throughed up to your push button k9 which means this ls1 is for your uh, limit switch uh, once the close operation is carried out automatically that another circuit which comes out from your uh, ks which means your uh, s2 sections x2 uh, cable number that S2 from that S2 that positive will be extended and this was uh, from this CC coil once it get uh, uh, pick up the means automatically that uh, NO gets made into a NC and further it will be in a closed condition until or unless this uh, limit switch get uh, opened which means the limit switch which uh, checks the operation of your uh, uh, isolator which means act as an uh, auxiliary contact for your isolator and that uh, auxiliary contact gets moved and it will trigger this limit switch and the limit switch get operator and uh, cut off this uh, supply from the closing path so this is how the closing operation will be carried out and the same will be carried out for your opening operation also for the opening operations same as like a uh, for local we need to push the push button pb2 open then uh, once it get pushed means automatically uh, the positive will be at the one end and negative will be through at the other end of your push button which means for throwing this is your uh, the circuit need to be checked which means the ls2 uh, 
which is your limit switch for close opening then uh, the cc coil which will be in a dropped condition that's why we are taking uh, in a nc then once it get uh, once this opening coil get uh, operated which means coil get picked means automatically the another path which comes out from your s2 to your uh, oc coil uh, no contact which will be made into a nc and that continue positive will be triggered until or unless this limit switch ls2 get operated by the auxiliary switch and then uh, the opening will be braked so this is how the operations will be carried out for your isolator this is the basics of your opening and the closing then third one is your uh, solenoid coil which is your manual operation if the manual operation need to be carried out by a mechanically uh, so uh, the solenoid coil which will be uh, connected with your key interlocking systems and uh, if we push out this uh, manual push button pb3 means automatically uh, automatically uh, your solenoid coil get uh, energized and then the from that solenoid coil uh, we can remove the key interlocking keys and then we need to fix those keys in your um, mechanical operator box and then only further we can uh, do the mechanical operation so this is for your mechanical operation uh, conditions next we will see one example so this is for your uh, 25 kv uh, single pole motorized uh, isolators so uh, same as like uh, up to 762 kv we have this uh, isolator boxes mosling set and uh, uh, it is for your single pole breaker so uh, if a three pole which means a three pole means uh, in, the, in the sense the three poles will be uh, mechanically interconnected with themselves uh, for our operations and main mosling board will be connected for your uh, command receiving and command ordering so you can just go through it this is your uh, description which means uh, previations for your uh, 25 kv isolator box just go through it coming up to the operations first we will see this uh, motor operation how the motor get operated so here we have a switch system which is uh, for your controlling of your motor then uh, it will the circuit uh, once get uh, fuse get enabled means automatically the DC supply will be goes inside your uh, motor circuit so the motor supply uh, we have this uh, M, M6 and M5 contact and further it will move to your KC K and KCB so the motor gets get supply after this uh, contactor get picked means this motor will get uh, supply and the motor get operated next coming up to the opening and the closing which means your control supply commands so in here also we are about to have a uh, local and remote operation so that uh, we are having a local and remote switch controlling for controlling then the local and the remote for that for that we have a one uh, fuse separate fuse which means uh, for control supplies that is your uh, fuse fp1 then further it will move to your control supply 
so this is your uh, local and remote switch here lr it is mentioned so now we are going to see this l which means your uh, local operations for local operation as i said it, it will be carried out by your push button so we need to manually push that push button and then that uh, after that pushing that uh, n1 and nc will be made and then it will further move to your uh, your supply so in here the push button pc for closing and po for your opening and that kc is for your closing contact and ko is for your opening contact so for closing kc need to be picked once it get picked means it should be a continuously picked condition until or unless your closing operation fully successful so for that we have parallelly connected the yeah, kc nc contact and uh, sorry no contact with your main positive so once it get uh, the kc contact get picked means automatically the no will make changes into a nc and then further it will be in a uh, picked condition only uh, until this uh, local limit switch get operated and breaks the supply here the limit switch is your uh, lca and loa is your limit switch the same will be carried out for your uh, opening operations and the next thing is for remote operation uh, we don't need to push this uh, push button uh, P pb or sorry po or pc push button the operation will be carried carried out through your uh, scada so that remote box is your uh, command from your scada and it will directly goes to your uh, uh, circuit so it will not even check your uh, uh, local and remote switch which means if the remote local and remote switch is uh, mode is operated uh, selected into a remote mode means automatically it will not check your push button it will directly enters into your circuit so this is how the remote operation carried out so this is all the small basics of your isolator operations and in here psl which means on parallel connected uh, psl uh, push button will be there for your uh, interlocking system so interlocks for your uh, mechanical operations will be done hope you understand i think so see you next video have a nice day nandri vanakkam